Okay. So, um, lexicographical data. Basically, um, there is a different namespace aside from what we already know on Wikidata. So, it is also part of the data on Wikidata now. But instead of you know QI terms that we use to describe terms, we have a namespace, an LID namespace that we use to describe lexemes. And basically, lexemes, um, a lexeme is, you know, it's a meaning current part of a language, you know, so like uh, such as a word or a phrase or a sentence can be a lexeme. Um, so for verbs, this is usually the infinitive form that we call the lemma. For a noun, it could be the normative singular form and, uh, you know, and so on. So a typical Wikidata item, I'm going to change this to English just for a second. Can, can you see my screen? Yeah. OK. So um, just changing this back to English for a second. OK, if we look at a random Wikidata item, there are so many uh, scientific you know, terms on Wikipedia. So a random item would likely take you to um, something like this. So basically we have the, the label of an item, we have the QID of an item, and then we have, you know, the descriptions and the statements. So we all know this label. This is an instance of a chemical compound, it has this identifier, blah, blah, blah. Now for lexemes, um, they also have, Q, you know, they have IDs, but they are called LIDs. An example would be a uh, random lexeme. Okay, let's use this button here, random lexeme. This is a lexeme in Russian. So as you can see, we have the LID here, which is the same as that over there. And then it's also got statements just like the QIDs. Now, aside from the statements that we have and identifiers that we potentially have on an ID, a QID on Wikidata, with Lexemes, we also have a section, a section called census. And then we have another section called forms. So basically the census, um, the census is basically, you know, um, a different, okay, so um, words could potentially have different meanings, although they could be spelled in the same way. So the senses are basically the different ways of understanding the word. There could be five different meanings for, for a word. So that means for that particular word, there are five senses for it. And with the forms, the forms are like uh, the grammatical features that are related to the word. So for each particular word, it could have a past participle, you know, it could have a, you know, the plural form of the word, how it's written, the singular form of the word, how it's written, um, and so many other forms of the word. The forms allow us to understand the word in a particular context based on the meaning of it. Okay, so just diving straight into it. Let's take an example. Let's see. Um, let's whip up a query. 
let's go to a query system, for example, query service. And then let's say that uh, we currently have a, a number of lexemes in the grand, for example. Let's pull that up. Um, Okay, I'm just pulling up all of the lexemes we currently have in the band. So we have a lexeme <coughs> called Nisara Ba Kuli Tiao. And lexemes, you know, just like items on Wikidata, you should start with, uh, with a small letter, and not a capital letter. Um, let's take one of them. Let's see. Um, let's see. Um, So if you are searching for lexemes on Wikidata, you use L colon and then a potential, a possible name of, you know, the lexeme. If you are searching for items, you know, uh, properties, you have to use P and then, you know, search. But I'm looking for a lexeme, so an L here. Then I search for it. I mean, I'm I'm actually looking for the O and not the O. So we have a lexeme here. L four zero nine two five seven. So now this lexeme, a basic statement that most lexemes would have is whether they are inanimate tense or they are you know, they are, they are non-inanimate things, uh, you know, like animals and trees are actually, um, they are living things and not, they are not inanimate. So com is an inanimate thing. And then we have a census. We basically have uh, a definition of what com is in various languages. So this is, you know, my attempt at describing what form means, if it were to be in a dictionary, by my dictionary, for example. Michel and Zora, and then in Russian, in so many other languages. And then we have statements that could include an image of what water looks like. And then we have an item for this particular sense. So you would notice that we only have one sense for this particular lexeme because I don't think com means something else in Dagani. Maybe there is, we could have another sense, but we can have just one sense. And that sense is describing Ben Sheldon Zora. So Ben Sheldon Zora, this is an image of Ben Sheldon Zora. And this is an item for Ben Sheldon Zora. You can follow it and go to the Wikidata item itself for water. And then we have a translation of it, um, which is a clear liquid. The basic forms of POM, we have just one form, I think. Okay, we have two forms for water. Um, so, you know, using water in a sentence, the forms are like, what are the possible ways you can, you can spell water um, differently? I think there's only just one way um, as to whether it's singular or plural, it is just going to be water. It's just going to be form. Um, what else do we have? We have the IP transcription, which is home. Um, we have, um, so we have a normative case, sorry. We have a normative case 
I'm not really sure what the normative means, but <laughs> um, I saw this on another, you know, uh, on another language, and they had this normative case. case. So in the linguists here would probably know, but I don't. So we have a singular form of water, which is just com, and then the plural form of water, which is also com, and the IPA transcription. Let's look at another one before we create our own. There's another one that Rashid created some time ago, which would make much more sense, fully. So feel free to interrupt me anytime, and then we can discuss whatever you will understand. <clears throat> OK, so this uh, Lexine, Kuli. Hello, Khadija. So this Lexine Kuli um, is inanimate, carbon vor vinyale. So, and then in Dagbani, we, so in German or in French, they have like some words are masculine, some words are feminine. I don't know if you have that in Dagbani, but I think. Um, uh, we don't have that for Kuli. Kuli isn't masculine or feminine, it's just neutral. And we call it the neuter. So the grammatical gender. Uh -huh. Hello, yes, Arasan. Yeah, I was just saying that you don't have that in the in that one. Okay, thanks. So that's why the, I added this neuter. And then the senses. So we said the senses are like the different. You know the the different meanings of the word kuli. We could only think of two different meanings. So as you can see, the label for this lemma for this lexeme is L three zero seven eight seven five. So this lemma, and then the first sense. So that's why you see the the ID here with the sense. And then the first sense that we could think of was kuli as in and then you can add the English definition of We are still looking at the first sense. That is the first meaning of Kuli. We can add an image to demonstrate it. Then we can even link it to a Wikidata item for Kuli. It is a whole. So, um, oops, I just closed it. Okay. Now, the second meaning of Kuli. As you can see, S2, a second sense of Kuli that we potentially have is Kuyul is open the shape, you know, like a funeral. I don't think this definition makes a lot of sense, but <laughs> you get what I mean. Um, and then we added an image to demonstrate what that second meaning of Kuli is. We added a, an item for it, which you know you can actually look at, uh, look it up on uh, Wikidata as a KO ID. And then we come to the sense, that, sorry, the forms. We said the forms are like, if you take the word, what are the different ways in which it can be spelled and used in a sentence? Um, Kuli, the grammatical features. One form would be a singular form, but it would still be spelled the same way as fully. And then we added a pronunciation audio for it. I don't know if you can hear this, but um, added a pronunciation variety. And then we added an IPA transcription. Then the second form of Kuli would be the plural form of it. So F2, which is queer. So that's why the grammatical feature plural is queer. And then we added an, an audio pronunciation and IP transcription. There could be several other forms of this word queer, but I can't think of any other. So basically, this is, you know, there's a general idea of what lexemes are. Now, if we have, unlike traditional dictionaries, uh, if you are able to define words in this structured format, 
you can use them for so many other things aside from just something that people are going to read because now machines are going to are going to be able to understand it better because it's structured data that's what computers like and you can you know run queries and both tools on top of it and so many other things okay so i think we should now try and create a lesson ourselves and then just you know see how it goes has anyone got a suggestion of a word that we can use i have one word but i don't think i would love to hear if someone has a suggestion before i bring in my hello yes uh, can we use uh Zhao? okay that's uh, a beautiful uh, word yeah okay so the first thing you do on wikidata to create a lexeme is to look at the left hand side the sidebar on the left should i zoom in a little more or it's fine kindly zoom in it's fine okay i'll increase it a little bit more to 175 all right so on the left side by you would find instead of you know create new item we are creating for lexicographical data so create a new lexicon then it brings me to this form and i enter my word which is uh, so this character is not it doesn't render properly I'm just going to pull the real one out. I made a complaint to the, to the guy who developed it, but he didn't respond. And this is the end. Okay. All right. So, Zhao, like this, right? And then we are looking at the language of Lexeme, which would be Tagbanli. Masli. Uh-huh. The spelling. Is, what, what okay, is okay, okay. Sorry. Ja. Even with this, even with this one, um, Musa, is it the one that has um is it Ziao or Ziao? Is it like this? Yeah, the um, first letter, the first letter is the one that looks like one three. Is it like this? No, the, the first letter should be G, like the one that you write it and you can pray. Oh, okay, 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 okay. <laughs> Sorry. Uh -huh. Yeah, like this. Yeah. Okay. So the language of the lemma is Dagban. So Dagban is Google language in Ghana. And then um the lexical category um is it a noun or a verb or is it a pronoun or is it something else or it depends we don't have to add that now so we can just create Oops. it's like smell right to smell or scent okay so that would be that's like is it now or pronoun? Oh, it depends. Zhao can be now or a verb. Oh, hey. Zhao. Uh, who are the languages here? Pronoun <laughs> <laughs> uh, is a word that is used instead of a noun, right? Uh, I no. think it's. It, 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 no, it, it can be a pronoun. It's a, yeah, it should probably be a noun. A noun? Yes. And now it's the way that refers to it, then, you know, yeah. Okay. So like softness, yeah. Yeah. justice. Yeah. So that would be a noun, part of the speech. Okay, let's create it. Oops, it's a problem. Spelling variants. Okay, so, the, so in the Bali, we have one spelling variant. Um, in English, we have, so if it were an English word, 
the spelling variants could be American English, British English, Indian English, you know, if it was a Hausa word, it could be a, it could be whatever they call it, um, the Ajami script, or it could just be the, the Latin term. So we are just, we just have just one spelling variant. So, but then, okay. We just created an empty um, lexeme. What is the first term to add? Let's see. We can, well, first of all, is an, Zhao is not an animal, neither is it a tree or something that breathes. So we can say it has a quality of an inanimate object. Well, that depends on the meaning as we get into it, because Zhao could mean something totally different from what I'm thinking about. So but let's start with this. And then um, if we, we, we are using Zhao in a sentence, you know, um, that includes a woman or a man, I don't think there's a difference. So we don't have grammatical genders in background so far as I understand. If everyone agrees, then I think the grammatical gender of this word would be neutral or as we say in English, a new tap. Okay. And then, okay. So now what are the senses as in the different meanings of this word? The first meaning I can think of is a sense or a smell. So let's add a first sense for this. Um, of course, we're talking about the family. And then the gloss would be um, what? The gloss, gloss basically mean definition, like in the dictionary form. So how would we define jiao? Like, you know, smell. Usually if you look at how it's defined in English, it's simpler. Smell. Specific kind. Any ideas? Yes. In English, a smell is it's more complicated. A smell could be an order or a sense or specified. Yeah, an order or a sense or something like that. How do we say that in the language? Nyom, yeah. we can just say yeah. nyom. I think nyom has a negative connotation because uh, uh, to is a good thing, but I don't think we generally would say nyom, right? But you know, yeah. so let's just use that for now. Oh, yes, please. Okay, so let's try this. Um, we can change that later. Um, no, let's just say them for now. Um, I'm just going to add the English one. We don't have to add it, but is there anyone who speaks any other language apart from the family here that can tell us how we would describe no in their language? Said, um, 
Okay, we can add Hausa. Hausa. I, I think Hausa has a better description of what we are saying than the Dagbani one, because Kamshi. Yeah. Kamshi is quite. No, but Kamshi. I think Kamshi is more of a good thing instead of a bad thing, right? Oh. Yes. Come to call worry. Okay. Worry. Like this. Bad sense. Like this, right? Yeah. Okay. Now, is there another sense of this word, Zhao, that we know of? I think Zhao could also be in the um, like um, um, yeah, stone, stone. So we add a second sense in Bagbani, which is stone. This is how you spell one. For him, it's for him. It's I. I. Okay. okay. How do you see this? How do you see How is it said in Hausa? The Hausa people are not sure. <laughs> Not really. Okay. So we leave it at two for now. Is there any other meaning that this word means uh, aside from the house being mm -hmm. the house I wait for? For well, somebody said that iska. Okay. Is it okay. um iska in in like you know just air or like actually a stone? Yeah. Yeah. Eh. So maybe, okay. Since we are saying it, I'm not the one saying it. So I trust you. I think it would be it's kind of something like, you know, the um, it's kind of, you know, like Pam Sheldon. Maya. The Maya. I think I would I'd rather add it here. I'm sure you know that this would be this. All right. Any other meanings for this word, Zhao? Zhao could also mean a color, I think. Red. Uh, yeah. uh, red. Red is Zhao. Uh, yes, I think so. Uh, it's like an animal too is called Zhao. Really? I don't know. Is it Zhao or Zhao? Zhao. Oh. Um, please, I think you know, it's also called Zhao also. Okay, what did you say? I said I think there's a town called Zhao, it's like I've heard it, but I'm not so sure if really? any other person has heard it. Let's see, Zhao. Ghana. Um, Has anyone heard of a town or a place to place Kabul Dijal? Maybe I'm spelling it wrongly. Okay, so let's see. The third one that we had was color. Color. And how do you define Dijal? You know, just think of it as like, so we have the um, Albanian dictionary and there's a word called Dijal. And we are defining it. That's what the gloss means. How would we? How do we? How, um, how do we say it? 
Benji. Ok. Be bendem moha. Bendem moha. Like this. Mm. Ok. Any other sense of the word? Should we should we add it in Hausa? Do you know, uh, Robert? Uh, that would be the uh, the like this. Okay. Any other meaning of this word that anyone can think of? Can can someone confirm what I said? Coco. Coco. Yeah, I'm actually. Yeah. Uh huh. Let me just add that you want to try forget. Yeah, hello. Yes. Another meaning for Zhao. <laughs> Another meaning for Jao. Uh -huh. Yeah, it seems it's a, it's a place name for somebody called Abilai. Really? Like a nickname for people called Abdullah. Abdullah is too. Uh, uh -huh. a, a, a place name for somebody called uh, Abilai. No, you are saying two things. It's you said place like, name and you mentioned someone's name. It, so, <laughs> you didn't place name or person's so, name. Yeah, the Jatu is there. <laughs> Abela Jatu. No, no, come again. <laughs> no, it's Tuka. <laughs> the Jatu is a description. <laughs> so I'm confused now. Wait, we have. We have. Um, we have. But, 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 mostly, the tree, it should be Coco, like, um, I think it's K. Um, Ah, uh, the O, oh, okay, the O, oh. like this. So the, the other one too should be that, the other O's. Like this, mm. okay. So let's uh, untangle this place name and person's name then. Let's start with the place name. Are we sure there's a place called Zhao? Eh, yeah, me too, I think yeah, I've sure. heard that name before. I've heard it before, so far I... I can't remember where it's actually. Yeah. Okay. Hey, Kadija, why am I at that place, man? Yeah, I've been hearing it. It's like my grandmother has been mentioning it, but I don't know exactly where it is. And then, um, okay, the other one was the Abdullah one. Can you clarify it again? What you meant? Because the Abdullah is not is Tuka and not Zhao. Wait. Or it's still related to this that I can just cancel it. Wait. Yeah. yeah. It's like yeah. Uh, uh, I saw it. Lovely. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I saw it in one book. Okay. And then you gave the the token is there and the jump is there. And I know uh, I know one 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 house in our area. <laughs> the man's name is uh applied. Okay. Okay. So they are calling him now because he's Abdullah. And not because he's Fabo. 
Okay. Yeah, I know that he's called Abdullah and they're calling him Zao. Then I recently saw it in another book again. So that's where I'm coming from. Okay. So how do we say it? How will we say it? Um, yeah. You pass Shelbon Matter Mumbonde Abdullah. Abdullah, yeah, Abdullah is oh. um, Okay. Yeah. Okay, please unmute yourself now. Uh, mute yourself. Okay, sorry. All right, I think that was a really good way because we have a lot of senses for it. Any more senses? No more senses, so let's go into the forms. Okay, now if we take um, this word, I'm sorry, yeah, um, what are the possible forms that we can have for it? So, first of all, the one representation of this word is the way we spelt it here. And then um, if we look at the first sense, we are referring to you know, what would be the what would be the the grammatical features, all of the grammatical features for uh, sorry for num in respect of this word. I think both the plural and the singular is going to be the same thing. So the singular of this word. Because if you know one one fruit is rotten and two fruits are rotten, we would still say uh, I don't think it would, there, there would be any difference. So the other representation yeah. Yeah. Yes. And then another form of this word that I can think of, although I don't know what the name of the grammatical feature is, maybe the Devanus scholars here would help. So when we are speaking, so, um, okay, before I confuse everyone, let me just take my time again. Now we've described all of the grammatical features for this sense. Now let's look at the grammatical features for the second sense. In the case that it is, you know, from Sheldon and I think it's still going to be Zhao and Zhao. Agreed. Yes. And then in the case of Bandamwa, if two men are still Wait a minute. If two people are if two is Okay. Oh, Pajai. I don't know. We have Jai. We have J and Jai. Mm -hmm. 
Yes. Yeah. Okay. So J for the singular. And then we would have another form. You said Jahibo. Yeah. I think even this one is wrong. It should be it should be this. Shy. Okay, so we've looked at the different forms for this. We've looked at the different forms for this. We've looked at the different forms for this. Now let's look at the different forms of this. I don't think place names have plurals and singular. It's just the same thing. And I don't think a nickname also has plurals or singular. It's basically going to be the same thing. But another form of the word that came to mind was when we speak, we actually write it this way. So, um, blah blah blah. We don't say the, the whole word, right? We don't say Jaso one blah blah blah. Just say Pajeso. And we don't we'll stretch it either. Yes. So although in spelling we spell the whole thing, but in saying it, we just use part of it. Yeah. So that would be how do you represent that? Is it an astrophy or I think it's just this? And I actually don't know what the grammatical feature is, although I know the word, but what is it? Is it? But is it not the same as the singular form? It's the same as a singular, but we are trying to, to actually present all of the possible forms that would you know exist for this particular word including how it is written okay. how it is said and all of that so um, but there's a term for um, how I'm not very sure, but it seems they call it the hello yes go on yeah it seems to call it the inflected form of some yeah, it's like that form or something like that. Let's see. Yeah. Inflect. Oh, yeah, that's um, inflected words. That's, it's true. So, is it an inflection, rather? An inflection. Modification yeah. of a way to express from different grammatical mm -hmm. categories such as tense, mood, voice. Okay. I'm happy that we have someone who understands that one. <laughs> yeah. Oh, <Abba. laughs> it's a good one. Man. <laughs> okay. So, so far as I can see, these are all of the forms that could exist. If you can think of anyone, then we can add it. Now let's try and flesh out. Oops, we're out of time already. Do you guys have 10 minutes, 10, 15 minutes? Okay, so let's try and just use the next 10 minutes before we close to just flesh out this um, all that we've created. If we look at the nyom, for example, we can we can add an item for this sense. So we are dealing with this S1 now. 
Okay, we can add a statement for this S1. An item for the sense, we can add, you know, translation, synonyms, antonyms, blah, blah, blah. Let's see, um, an item for the sense, if it exists. It should exist on Wikidata. We should have something that corresponds to smell. Um, smell, smell, smell. Okay. We have an item Q1541064 which talks more about, you know, what a smell is. So we add that and we publish. Let's add an item for the S2. And S2, we are referring to a stone. We have any, step, I think it's this one any disturbed astronomical body atmosphere. So we are adding all of these, you know, little details so that um, any algorithm that is going to use this can understand this word better. So we are connecting it as much as possible to, to other terms on Wikidata. We are adding a statement for the S2. Item for the sense, a storm. The third sense, Bandamwa, um, red. Color red. Yeah, red the color. Let's see. Okay, we have an item for red. Are uh, the statements item for the sense? Red color. Then the fourth sense, we have Tengden Began Approved. I don't think anyone has created that town on Wikidata yet. So we can try and search and see. Maybe someone has, who knows? Let's see. No item found. So maybe if so someone created later on, you can just come and add it as a statement of Tengden began a flow, you know, a town, and then you add a statement. And the same for this, I'm 100% sure, I don't even want to search that this isn't on Wikidata yet. So someone can create it and then add data. Um, the, aside from adding the, sen you know, the, the items for these senses, we can also add um, we can also add something else. We can add a synonym on Anthony. Synonym is the same meaning, right? And antonym is the opposite meaning, yeah. I think. So for the first sense, um, no, I don't think it has an opposite or um, I would have one with my on Anthony. Um, Anthony is no synonym. Anthony is, is the opposite, and then synonym is synonym is the same. Nearest meaning. Okay. Yeah, nearest meaning. Is there anything that has nearest meaning that we really created about Yom? I don't think so. We have very few like things in the Bani so far. Pan Sheldon Zora. Uh, so, sorry, Pan Sheldon Maria. I don't think we've created a nearest meaning word for this in Wikipedia. Bandam Maha. Koko. We have, we yeah. used Koko in the... Uh-huh. Go ahead. Um, the about the about the simile, mm -hmm. the uh, synonym. Mm -hmm. 
Yeah, I want to get something clear. That means that that way should have also been um, like it should be a lesson already. Or yes, yes. So if let's say um, this was this was a uh, num. Let's say uh, num. Let's say there's another lexeme called bum. Uh -huh, bum. Japan. Yeah. So then you can add the, the, bum as a synonym oh. of Zhao. Okay. Okay. You understand? Okay. But so far, I don't think there's bum on wik on Wikidata. In that band, you get let me just check. The only bum that we have, you know, German interjection and English interjection, there's nothing bum in that band as far as I can see. So we can add it. Um, the third one, we're looking at red. Is that an opposite or synonym close in meaning to red? No. No, I don't think so. No. Same for this, the name of the town or the name of the person. Okay, so what else can we add? We could add, we could add an image. We can add an image. So for num, we can add an image. I'm sure we'll find an, in, an image on commons. What image do you think describes describes uh, num better or like what fits num? Let's see. No. No. So I'm just checking on Wikimedia Commons to see. Yeah. Okay. Yes, go ahead. Yes, go ahead. Yeah, yes. Uh, I, I just wanted to find out whether I'm. Um, so that means that uh, image should be within Wikimedia Commons yes. that you are searching for here. Yes, it can only be on Wikimedia Commons so that it can be linked to it. Uh -huh, okay. So one image, one image that sort of oh, okay, describes okay, okay. what's young. So Ella, are you sure you should? Uh, when... uh huh. Go ahead. Uh, what? Uh, it's okay. It's okay. I'm on side. Okay. I'm tempted to use this image. Although. Oh, the case, Melinda, please. Well, this one. Yeah. Okay. This one looks good. So, image for this would be this. Let's add an <laughs> image. How about the one that the ladies are smelling the armpits of the young men there? <laughs> I saw that one, but I didn't want to add it. <laughs> um, it, it looks so awful. I don't want to add that one. How about the second sense from Sheldon Maria? So I'm sure we'll find a lot of things about this storm. storm. Let's see. Let's see, maybe this. This looks like a good stone. Hello. Hello. So I add a statement for this, an image of Pam Sheldon Maria. And I, no, this actually doesn't look like a poem. I think it's more of a it looks, it's more of more of an ocean something. Like, yeah, it looks like a wave. Yeah, a wave actually. So let's go back to the search results and find something better. Oh, the search stone. Um, let's see. 
Um, how about this? How about the, uh, this looks like yeah. a tornado. Yeah, that looks like a tornado. Yeah. Okay, let's go down. Because we can't see <laughs> a storm. Can we see a storm? But, um, the cloud okay, yeah, that's uh, a good point. <laughs> we can't actually see air, right? Air moving very fast. So we should just pick that picture that depicts the cl um, cloud, the um, cloud on environment. Yeah. Because it will be difficult to see. Okay. So like this one. Okay. Okay, now the third sense, something that is red, ja or cocoa. Let's see, red. We have, we have this. Let's pick the color. Yeah, I'll just pick the blunt color. Yeah. So we have image red. And then the fourth sense. I don't think we have an image of this place on commons. I'm 100 percent sure. I don't think this way of describing a nickname with an image. Okay, what else can we add? One last thing before we close. Uh, we can add pronunciation audio to so sort of, because this, although is the same word, it is pronounced differently in the different forms. So, Zhao. Yes. Now, um, it's likely we, would, we, we have a pronunciation for this on commons. Let's try because of the words we recorded some time ago. Oops, we don't. Hmm. Interesting. Sure. We don't have anything. I try audio, it's like it's on images. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Good point. Thanks. We do have Kasi Fadila pronounced it. I don't know if you can hear it, but I'll just share it in the chat so if you just want to hear it for yourself. So we have a pronunciation audio for this. That is, wait a minute. Um, which which jar is it? Exactly. <laughs> yeah, in my head, thinking the same way I'm thinking. Which jar is it? <laughs> Can someone just listen to the audio I've just shared and then help us? So. I'm 100% sure this is not the red shop she's mentioning, but someone should confirm. I shared the video in the chat. Or maybe I can share my video okay. as well. I don't know if it's possible on Zoom. Share with you. Okay. I'm going to pull, uh, play it again. It says Zhao. So this looks like the wind to Zhao. Zhao, it's the wind. Yeah, Zhao. this looks like the wind. The partial the Maria, the storm. So and the pronunciation audio. 
for the storm one. Okay. Unfortunately, we just have. Fadila, I think she's even here. She did the recording. Fadila, okay. <laughs> But no, no, she's not here. Is she here? Yeah. Yes, I'm around. <laughs> hey, we're silent. <laughs> What's your way you pronouncing? The, the thing is, I forgot the way that I pronounce. So unless I play it back and see. I can so, play it for you. That was if right. you want to hear it. Okay. okay. Did you hear it? No, I didn't. Okay. But it's in the chat. It's in the chat. You can listen to it. But I'm pretty sure it's the, it's the wind. Okay. And then, Bish Bundumwa. I don't think anyone pronounced it because we only have one job in common. So, in case you get a time to pronounce it, you can add it here as a pronunciation with you. And then, with the, mm -hmm, with the, with the pronunciation would you you know with some of the words they are, the pronunciation of variety could be nayale or tomosile or nanunu right yes so with that we yes. just add a qualifier and we call that qualifier pronunciation variety oops So, Fadila, what variety do you, did you pronounce? I'm pretty sure it's... That was, that was Yao, the, the, the storm. The storm, okay. Yes. And the pronunciation variety would be Tomosile, right? Yes, please. <laughs> oh, she doesn't know. Yes, I know. <laughs> I know <laughs> it's Tomosile. <laughs> <laughs> I know. <laughs> okay, so it's the more silly. And then, yeah, that is it, I think. But there are a thousand and one things that you can potentially add. But I think this is enough to give people an idea of, you know, how to edit next things. If you are not sure what to add sometimes, when you click on the add statements, you get suggestions for what to add. And that could also be helpful. So... Put the bell like that. <laughs> um, yeah. Any questions before we... Close. So what we yeah, can, yeah, go on. Yeah, um, my question might seem to be kind of drawing us back a little, um, but can you just take maybe one minute to brush us through uh, the, the terminologies there, the statement, the item, the... Okay. Form, sense, yeah. and all. Mm. Yeah. Just a quick one. Sorry. Yeah, no problem. So, on the Lexin page, we have three main things. We have the statements for the word itself. So, that is from where I'm highlighting all the way. Oops, I can't hit the highlight. Um, how do you highlight this? Anyway, so from the, the the initial set of statements are just the statements for the word itself without going into the senses. That's the first part of a lex of a lexeme. Then the second part of a lexeme is actually drilling down to look at the different meanings that this word could potentially possess. That is the census. So for, for this word, Zhao, we came up with five different senses for this word. As you can see, S1, that's a sense one. Now the sense one has its own unique features and we use statements to describe all of the features for sense one as well. 
But unlike the general statement we had for the word, whenever you add a statement specifically for a particular sense, you would see that it's saying statements about, you know, S1. So that actually tells you that these statements are just pertaining to S1 only. We have S2, and then we added statements for that as well. We That's added what it does a, this. We added items for the sense and image pronunciation video. We can add thousand and one other statements. So those are the different senses and then the unique features. Then the third part of a lexeme are the forms. The forms, with the forms, you just take each particular, so you take the first sense and then look at what are the, the different ways in which we can write this word in the context of a sentence. So if you take the first sense, Zhao um, as in Quam, it is just the, the singular and plural are going to be the same thing. Um, there are so many other grammatical features like the normative case, the transitive case, the blah, 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 but I don't really understand them myself. So maybe the linguist would do better with that. But the common ones that I know are just singular and plural of words. So we added those as well. So you go through all of the senses and see the possible forms that these senses could take when you are writing them or speaking them. And with that, we are able to come up with four, five different forms for this particular word called sha. For all of them, we added singular and plural for those that had. Amir, does that help a little? Yeah, yeah, that's okay. Okay. So yeah. finally, what I just wanted to show you. Was, I understand. I understand this one. Uh huh. Go ahead. Yeah, I understand. It uh, contributes a lot to one's uh, edit counts. Is that right? Yes. So each edit is a count. That means every save, every uh, publish that you make, publish. You know, it's a it's an edit. So that counts. And then I would. I would, um, if people become more comfortable with this, I would show That's you how better. to use some tools to actually batch edits. So you don't have to do it one by one, but, you know, click edit, publish. You can use a tool to make hundreds of thousands of edits in a very short period of time. Um, but we'll get there. Um, an interesting query I just wanted to show you before we close is this. These are lexin pairs between um, English and Dagban. So for example, so if, um, we have like 60 something lexins in Dagban already. And I wrote this query to give us like, so what is a cat called in Dagban? You can modify this query to say, like, if we had a lexings also in Fafa. What is a cat um, cat called in Fafa? <laughs> you know, fish would be zam. Red is jiao. Red is jiao. House is meat, and all of that. Um, another interesting query is this. This is distinct uh, languages of Wikidata items. Uh, uh, uh. So this query, in this query, you can see um, the languages and the lexings that they've created already. You can see that Russian has 101,285 lexings. So whoever is singing, please mute yourself. So we have um, Dagbani is still nowhere to be found because it's very tiny and you want to actually get up there at some point. Um, this query would be interesting to you. It shows all of the lexings in Dagbani so far. This one, we currently have just 69 lexings. That's too few. 
I would like people to create lexemes. And it's not just, you know, nouns and verbs. You can create lexemes about uh, proverbs as well. So this is a proverb that someone created. So uh, that actually be a machine. So, that, you know, if you don't want to create words, you can actually create proverbs or whatever kind of lexing that you want to create. Um, in the yeah, Masley. Yes. Hello? Yeah, with the, with the form. Mm -hmm. Assuming the word you are using is, uh, is, a, is a verb. Mm -hmm. In that and that that place, that means that we'll be using past and present and those participle participle things, right? Yes, exactly. Are you familiar okay. with those? Because I'm not familiar with the past participle of, of okay. words in my mind. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Uh, you can you can find out then. then. Right. <laughs> Thanks. Mm. Then the last but one query I want to show you is the. You can write a query actually to sort of, you know, give you like seems that much a particular expression. So this query I wrote was to give me like things in that binary that start with S. Example, Songa. So if I write this, if I run this, I get all of the like things in that binary that start with an S. I can modify this query to do other beautiful things. So Sam, um, as an example. Someone described it very beautifully. That was the answer to Which is, yeah, that is it. So please try and create as much lexemes as possible. Um, I mean, just try your hands on it and you'll get used to it. Usually, before you create a lexeme, you just search on Wikidata to make sure it doesn't like this to read. Or you can just use this query that I showed you to list all of the lexemes that exist. So you don't have to duplicate the way. All right. And if there are no other questions, I think we can end here. Any more questions? Hello? Yes, go ahead. Yeah, I think I think um, the query is a very good way to teach um, children, especially uh, the Gwani teachers. If you want to teach children how to um, know words like in the Gwani, there are other meanings in English. I just saw that and I feel like, especially if you are using uh, ICT to teach children, it will be a very simple way to teach people. Instead of like googling and all those things, Just yeah, that's very true. Can show them many things. They are meaning in Dagbani and English, and yeah. when they click on it, if they are not sure, they can click to listen to their pronunciation. Like a whole lot of stuff. Yeah. Exactly. Okay, then I'll catch you guys some other time next week. Okay, okay, all right, thank yeah. you very much. Bye bye. bye. Thank you. Bye. Thank you.